Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about how to get the last word. You're probably going to use this for Crucible, because everybody uses it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, we're going to be getting this quest from the Drifter. You actually have to complete Introduction Gambit before you can pick up any quest for him. And what we're going to have to do here is defeat Hive with Solar Damage, and collect Hive Tablets, which Hive defeat. I mean, which Hive drop. And then, you have to defeat Hive Bosses. If you go to Mars, there is a strike called Will of the Thousands. That is a strike that I did all of these quest steps on, and I just used a Pulse Rifle from Collections to do this. And that's what you can use to do this. And, as you can see here, after completing this mini-boss, I actually got the next quest step. And now, you have to talk to the Drifter yet again, which is... super annoying. We're going to be seeing a lot of him during this quest step. Quest. Alright, now you have to defeat Guardians and the Crucible. This is one of the most annoying quest steps in this. So, what you actually have to do is kill Guardians with hand cannons. One kill with a hand cannon, cannon will get you 2% of the quest step, and every time you die will take away 1%. So, yeah, that is super hard. And now for this quest, you have to get etched crystals from killing Lost Sector Escapees, then you have to kill Hive to get Hive Larvae, and then you have to get Best Served Cold and Blood for Blood medals from Crucible, which, how you get Best Served Cold is by killing an enemy who just killed a teammate, and Blood for, and blood, for blood is killing a Guardian who just killed you. And then, you have to complete Heroic Hive Rituals, which are public event specific on Titan, so these are only available on Titan. And what I'm doing here is showing you the best way to farm for etched crystals and hive larvae. Alright, as you can see here, I got some etched crystals from killing the wanted escapee. Most of the time, you don't even have to complete the lost sector. So for this one, you just rerun it over and over and over as many times as you like. And as you can see here, this is the witch's ritual on Titan. So, just do this first part normally by standing on the green plates, then killing the wizards. Alright, now that you've done that, as you can see, some crystals spawn right next to the portal. You have to continue standing on the green plate, and then you have to shoot the crystal. And somebody stood on the other green plate. And as you can see, it's now a heroic event. All you have to do now is just kill a boss that will come out soon. As you can see, there's his yellow health bar there. And this boss is super easy if you have a lot of people with you like this. Alright, now we're going back to the Drifter yet again. Like I said, we're going to be seeing a lot of him. Alright, now we're going to be doing a special mission on the lost on Tangled Shore. 
What you have to do is go to the main dropping point, get on your sparrow, and follow this route. Alright, what I use to do this mission is the Recluse and a scout rifle called Nameless Midnight. This is a Vanguard scout rifle that you can get from collections that has explosive payload on it already. This is super good for taking down shields and stuff. Also, bringing a weapon like Whisper will be useful, Whisper of the Worm, or a energy sniper rifle, and yeah. I actually swapped to Titan Top Void Tree for the Ward of Dawn and the Overshield from Melee. And as you can see, I used probably the best things for that. Well, for this. Don't go with Rally Barricade, because that way things can hit you over it. Like, there's an Ogre at this very first part, and a Knight's AoE attack. In this mission, you actually can't heal. And as you can see, every almost every time I kill an Acolyte, a little white thing spawns. Now you have to pick that up to heal as you can see here, and you get the buff called Restorative Light. And now I'm going to show you the route on how to do this, and this may be lengthy.
okay, now that you've made it this part far, now you actually have to do a quick draw. And as you can see here, you get the last word, and you have to hit hands. There will be two of these guys up next, and then there will be a third one. This took me about 40 tries on my first try of getting last word. And here's the finale of, yeah, this. And this is the final quest step as well, like the final part of the mission. And this part is always RNG, so this one's always random. Oh, uh, don't try and hip fire. It is so much higher, harder to do a hip, a hip, a hip fire. Yeah, always be prepared, because that was a cursed thrall that could have killed me. And they even made me start this run. And that was it. There we go. Now, the Drifter sh saves the specialist mission for us all. To go speak to him again. That was the whole entire guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below of what you want to see next. And I will be doing Whisper next time. So, stay tuned. Bye.